Once upon a time, in the holy land of Kurukshetra, the Pandava and Kaurava clans were gathered to fight a great war. As the sun rose on the fateful day, Arjuna, a Pandava prince, looked out at the opposing army and felt his heart sink. He recognized many of the faces, including his own family members, teachers, and friends, who had chosen to fight on the side of the Kauravas. Overwhelmed by the thought of killing his own kin, Arjuna turned to his charioteer, Lord Krishna, for guidance. He pleaded with Krishna to show him the right path and expressed his doubts and fears about the war. Arjuna questioned whether it was worth sacrificing so many lives for the sake of kingdom and power. In response, Krishna began to teach Arjuna about the true nature of life, death, and the soul. He explained that everything in this world is temporary and that the soul is eternal. The body may die, but the soul lives on, and it is the duty of every human being to fulfill their dharma, or their rightful duty in life. Krishna reminded Arjuna that as a warrior, it was his dharma to fight for the greater good and protect his people, even if it meant facing his own family in battle. He encouraged Arjuna to see beyond the illusions of this world and focus on his true purpose. As the sun continued to rise, Arjuna's mind began to clear, and he gained a deeper understanding of his duty as a warrior. He realized that it was his responsibility to fight for justice and righteousness, even if it meant confronting his own family. With a renewed sense of purpose, Arjuna picked up his bow and prepared for battle. He felt a sense of peace and clarity that he had never experienced before, knowing that he was fulfilling his dharma and following the guidance of Lord Krishna. And so, the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita ends with Arjuna ready to face the challenges ahead, armed with the wisdom and guidance of Lord Krishna.